Hello everyone, it's Lori at ArdentDesigns.ca. I'm going to show you today how to draw a lemon graphic in Inkscape. And we're mostly going to be using shapes today. Pretty simple beginner tutorial stuff. So I'll just push this aside. And let me just discuss this just for a minute. So when we create a graphic like this, it has a shaded side. So where the light is probably not going to access. And then on the, you know, on the top where the sun can access, we're going to have a shine side. So we're going to learn a little bit about that. Let's grab the circles tool, click on the board, create an oval about like that. And I'm going to make sure that it just has a fill for now. Just press shift and X and make sure that it's just a fill. Let's go over to the yellow colors and we'll choose this. Let's see, let's choose this color right here. And then I'm going to go to the squares tool. I'm going to click here. And you'll see it's kind of rounded. Like if I zoom in here, you'll see that we get this circle. We can make it nice and round. So just pull it down all the way. And then I'll press shift, select the oval. And we're going to go to the align tab right here. Double click and it should open up. Just align it on the vertical axis. And I'll zoom out here. So now that it's aligned, I want to duplicate it. Right click, go to duplicate, and we'll just press control. And we'll drag a copy down here. I'll press shift and select both of those objects and temporarily group them together so that I can press shift and align it to the oval. Open that up again and vertically and horizontally make sure that it's centered. So let's ungroup it. And now we're going to duplicate this big oval. Press Control D for your shortcut. And we'll make this one slightly darker. So we'll choose this color here. And then I'm going to press Control D to duplicate it again. And we can choose any color for this top copy. It's not going to matter. I'm going to press Control. I'm going to drag this off to the side. Let's zoom in here. How much is up to you? I'm going to go about there. I'll press shift, select both objects, and we'll go path, difference. Okay, so there's our shadow side. And now we want to create a shine. So I'll duplicate this. I'll just press control D to duplicate it. But this time we want a stroke. So I'm going to press shift and get the lightest color. Shift. And we have our stroke. But I don't want the fill, so I'm going to turn that off by pressing X in the bottom left here. Okay, so that stroke is pretty darn big. So let's let's change that. Come up here to this button, edit objects, colors, gradients. Let's choose. Let's see what 30 looks like. Okay, that's probably fine. I'll close that up for now. And with the stroke selected, this uh, light colored stroke, we're going to go up to path, dynamic offset. And we get this little node type thing. I'm just going to pull it in. And this will help us um, size it symmetrically. So it's the same, only smaller. And then when we're satisfied with its position, we'll go to path, object to path. So even though it's a stroke, we've chosen object to path because we need to keep the stroke properties for what we're going to do next. So I'm going to double click on this line. Double click and it creates a new, new node. So if I zoom in here, well, let me zoom in. Okay, so this here is a new node. I'm going to double click here as well. Uh, maybe down here. I'll double click here. And with this one selected, I'm just going to come up here and break it. I'm going to break path at selected node. I'm going to break this one. I'll break this to and this break. Okay, so let's see. We go select our nodes, get in the nodes tool here. And let's see here. I'll click on this one, I'll press delete. Press delete. Press delete. Okay, so we have our shine right there. Deselect. And it's still recognizing it as one object, so let's see if we can ungroup it. No, it won't let us do that. Okay, so I'm going to go to the nodes. I'm just going to keep deleting. Delete. 
and delete. Okay, so that's the object that we want to keep, this portion here. So now what I want to do is select select this main piece here and I'm going to select the two little nubby things in the middle and then I'm going to press Control D with those three objects. I'm going to go path union and turn it black and then I'll drop that to the bottom and now I'm going to give it a stroke by pressing shift and black. Okay so that looks good. I'm going to go path Stroke the path to finalize that. And now we have our lemon. So let's group all of those pieces together. And you know, you can create copies of these and you can also turn them as you like. I'm just going to create a leaf here. I'll show you how simple that is. We'll just grab a circle tool, press shift and control. Perfect. Perfect circle, drag it a perfect circle. With it uh, selected, I'm going to press Shift and X to get rid of the stroke. I'm going to press S F7 to get the dropper tool and turn it green. And then, if you look here, it's still a shape. So we're going to go Path, Object to Path, and then I'll select both of those nodes and turn them into a corner. Okay, so let's just click the Select tool. I'm going to pull that down like that. And then I'll scale it in like so. Okay, so place where you think uh, is good. Press Control D, and again we can scale these. Okay, so that is how you can create a lemon in Inkscape. Thanks for watching.